Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the Tech Viking. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about Security Plus uh, or CompTIA in general and how you renew your certifications free, uh, other than the maintenance fees that you have to pay CompTIA, which is 150 bucks. So, one really easy way that you can uh, renew your certification uh, is you can use LinkedIn's in learning, uh, which I have on the screen right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and the way that you'll do that is you want to make sure that whatever cert you're trying to renew, um, the course has at least 50% of the same material as that certification that you're trying to renew. So for example, um, I renewed Security Plus. So what I did was is I typed up like cybersecurity, right? And it come up with a bunch of different stuff on here like cybersecurity foundations, become an ethical hacker, um, become a CompTIA Security Plus certified security professional. And we know that's gonna hit the, the nail right on the head and it's 21 hours, right? So each CEU, right? One CEU is equivalent to one hour. You need 50 of them to renew your Security Plus. So what you would do is, is you would look around and the ones that you want to do, which you can do any of them, but if you just do the course, you're only going to get an hour and 59 minutes. But if you do a learning path, it's going to have multiple courses under it, which you can't see right now. But if you look at the certification, which I have right here, you'll see that once you complete it, um, it's going to be 21 hours, 9 minutes, and these are compounding. So if you do another course, it's 51 minutes, and you have 22 minutes right there. So uh, that's actually pretty, pretty neat, <clears throat> and it's a free way to do it. So where you're going to want to submit these once you download the certificate. Now, you can individually download each one of the certificates. Um, under the learning path, but once you get done with the learning path, it's going to have all of them accumulated into one certificate, which is way easier. Plus, you're upgrading your knowledge and stuff when it comes to Security Plus, so I mean, you really can't beat it. You know, the whole point of life is learning new things and hopefully learning lessons, right? So, um, if you go over here to certmetrics.com slash CompTIA, like you can just remove all this, and I like to do stuff very basic where people can just see it. So if you just type that right there, certmetrics.com slash CompTIA, um, you, if you don't have an account, you'll probably have to make one. That's why we got the logout right here. Um, and you come under continuing education, right? Now, I've submitted all of mine to 2027 because I went ahead and took the courses because I've had a lot of downtime in my life right now. So um, normally, you would be able to add CEUs. But when you click here and submit on your whatever cert you want, let's go back and look at that. So you can kind of. So for me, I got three different certs through CompTIA. You know, um, Network Plus, A Plus, Security Plus. Uh, you want to make sure that you upgrade your highest one because then it upgrades everything underneath of it, and they're looked as kind of bundled together: the A Plus, Network Plus, and Security Plus. So I'm going to click submit, and then normally um, you would have an option to add the whoever created the course that you're taking that's 50% related to the certification. And then it has how many hours, I believe, what language. Um, you have a description to kind of give the description. I normally just put um, this part of the certificate, become a CompTIA Security Plus certified security prep professional. And uh, I just put how many hours, uh, which like I said, one CEU is equivalent to uh, one hour um, and you can also go back and you can edit your CEUs which like I said I ain't gonna have any because I already submitted and it got approved um, so that's a free way that you can submit for your CEUs um, so you can pay your hundred fifty dollars which is fifty dollars per year and you have to pay your first fifty dollars to be able to submit for your renew um, but I just went ahead and paid for the whole thing because then you don't have to think about it. And if you've got the money to do it, I suggest you do it. Now, let's say that um, you're applying for college or I was thinking about going for my master's in cybersecurity. Um, you can go into transcripts and you can have them send uh, or you can download your transcript and you can send it to them or email it to them. Or, um, that way your school or whatever 
might give you credit, you know, or at least um, grant you admission into the school uh, through your transcript. Let's see. Okay, so we covered um, how to get free CEUs, how much they cost. It has to be at least 50% of the information. Um, and if you do it this way, you really ain't got to do nothing else. Now, another way that you can do it, if you're currently working into uh, the field, uh, you can have your employee uh, put your kind of like your work hours, like a, a testament. You can Google like a, a memorandum for your boss. I'm sure they have print out one somewhere um, that you can just give them and get them to fill it out or whatever. Um, so until next time, that's how you get uh, free CEUs and renew your uh, certification for pretty much free except for your maintenance fees. Tech Viking out.